Hi guys, you're Robo46 here, welcome yourselves back to mode GP22 on the Xbox Series X. Let's continue with career mode. We need to go and sign a new contract for next season, don't we? So, um, for next year, Ducati or Suzuki? Well, there's only one Suzuki team, so do that. And I tell you what, let's go with the, uh, the R46 Ducati. Confirm. Okay. Right, well we've got the Catalonia test to do first. And then we go to Satsum Ring. So, let's get this one done. Right, as always we'll start with our current bike. And then next year's bike switches the engine down to fuel consumption reduction. But frame with better reactivity. Right. Let's head out with our current bike. And then we'll use the, uh, the prototype. Out we go. Maximum temperature, so hard front, hard rear. Threshold, 40.5. See if we can beat that. We should be able to. Okay. Are we catching someone on track? I don't know if we're going to catch them. We should be okay. Yeah, we'll be okay. They're not going to get in the way. This is where we nearly lost the race um, last time out because the rear came up, ended up off track. Luckily, we didn't end up in the gravel, but yeah, it was close. Right, final corner to go. Thirty nine six. So we beat the threshold by point nine. Back into the pit we go. And we will try next year's prototype bike, see how we get on with that, but obviously we're not gonna be with this team. It would be good just to uh check out the uh prototype bike. See how we feel with that one. So out we go again. See if we can do the threshold. Right. See if I can beat my own time of a 39.6. Well, that was a much better first sector. Zarko's done the best time at the moment, 39.5. Oh, that's too wide. Well, that didn't go to plan. The rear done what it done during the race.
The slap started off alright, but I mean, we still beat the threshold, but yeah, just one away. So there we go. Job done. We, we'll just finish the test now. Yeah, look at that. We were quicker with our current bike in sectors 2 and 4, but quicker with the new bike in sectors 1 and 3. But then we really messed up in the final sector. A bit like in the race. Okay. So, Satsum Ring is the next race. Electronics wise, we can't do anything yet. Right, we should have our contracts now. So, we've got the Mooney Ducati and the Suzuki. Suzuki's two seasons. Ducati is one. We'll go with the Mooney VR46 racing team. Last time we used this bike, when it was the Sky VR46 team, the bike was an absolute pig. It was horrible. I'm hoping this one's going to be a bit better. But um, we didn't actually win the season in MotoGP21 when we used that bike. So it'll be interesting to see what happens in MotoGP22 with the same team. So, Satsa rank, 8 laps. Oh, it's dry. I saw rain there and thought for a moment we we're going to get a wet race, but it's not. It's dry. Okay, it's sats and ring time. So, I'm going to go for a hard front tyre, but a medium rear. See what we can do from the back. The KTM's not feeling great around here, especially that front end. There we go. Oh, long way around in turn one. Try and put me up the inside of turn two. Hasn't really worked. Although, still trying. That leaves us open for the Omega. It's all bunching up. Oh, the cat is down. A few people went down, I think. just tip in it just won't tip in already a gap to the next group which we're gonna have to try and bridge Okay, we well, made another place up, but yeah, I'm not feeling confident about this race, to be honest. Still got a lot of work to do. Right, we've got Mir, I think. We do. Right, we're behind the two Aprilias now. We just set the fastest lap. Well, we did have both of them, but at least just hit us wide. Maverick's nearly done the same. Right. I'm having it at least, whether you like it or not. Okay, maybe not. Right, we've got the inside now.
Don't shove your pretty up the inside again, please. I don't think we've got the pace to get any higher, you know. My mic has just set the fastest. We've gone a little bit quicker. thought about it but no room through on the beast there although we've had a collision there tried to sneak through but didn't work how about here no no that's never a good corner to overtake through in fact I just messed Mess myself up big time. Oh, I tried to, but no, again, doesn't work. I could maybe get onto the podium, but I need to get past Bastianini. If we can't do that, then there's no chance. And the tyre on the left-hand side is deteriorating pretty quickly now. No, still haven't got him. Quattrari's just set the fastest lap of the race. Right, we need to get the beast. Block pass. Right, that one worked. Trebezi's going to try and do the same. You're not coming back through. Oh, but he wants to. Marquez is going to win this one. That's for sure. too wide that was too slow through that final corner we've just set the fastest lap of the race though but we're on the penultimate lap already don't know how we got it stopped then to be honest Quattraro is moving forward 
Maybe we won't get on the podium. It's not turning in. A slightly better exit, but the rear tyre is uh, not liking this now. I think fourth is going to be the best we can get, but we're too far back to have a go into turn one. Thought about it. I thought better of it. Our moment has gone for the podium, that's for sure. Quattro not past Zarco yet. No, hasn't happened. Fifth place. Fifth place is all I could manage. Didn't even have the fastest lap. Who had the fastest lap then? 118.3 for Jorge Martin on the final lap. My teammate... Well, Gardner just missed out on a point. Ralph Fernandez way out. There we go. What's that done to the championship now? So that has come down a little bit to 66 points. And uh, we're eight points behind now in the teams. And just two ahead of Ducat in the constructors. Okay, so no park Ferme or podium or anything. I guess fifth place. I did say it's going to be damage limitation, and as far as damage limitation went, that was fine. Wow, we got more um, people from HQ, which is good. Right. Let's do anti wheelie. That's fine. We've got any staff free? No, okay. Right, so we go to Assen next time out, but let's look at the standings for all three categories, starting with Moto3. Mazia still leads away, but only by five points from Guevara in second. Then you've got um, Garcia third, Fodja fourth, he's up to fourth in fact, and Dennis Onchu down to fifth, only one point separating those two. Moto two, Vietti has still got a big lead over Ayagura in second, Canet's third, Chantra fourth, and Joe Roberts is fifth. And Moto GP, our lead has come down slightly to Bangyar to 66 points, Quattro's a further two points behind in third. Mar Marquez moves up two places to fourth, and Bastianini drops one to fifth. Anyway, guys, that is it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel for more content. Shall see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to stay safe, watch, and look after yourself. See you guys next time. See you!